Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make Japanese dashi. Dashi is an essential element of Japanese cooking. We can't make any Japanese dishes without dashi. I'm going to show you the basics of dashi making. I have received so many questions for my Japanese traditional breakfast video asking, so you don't add kombu kelp. Why? Because there are no rules. I'll walk you through how we make dashi according to the ingredients we use in each dish. Let's start cooking with soaking dried shiitake mushrooms in water, which takes the longest. Soak two dried shiitake mushrooms in three cups of water. Let's sit at least two hours at room temperature or overnight in the fridge until the dried shiitake mushroom is rehydrated. Set aside while making other dashi broth. I will show you five ways to make dashi. The first one is using dried kombu kelp that you might have already seen using in my videos. Kombu dashi is the most fundamental ingredient when it comes to dashi. This is the product I always choose. It comes in a nice size for making dashi. It has very gentle umami by itself but makes delicious broth when you combine with another flavor profiles like bonito flakes or an animal product like pork. Kombu makes a vegan dashi so that you can use it for the vegan dishes. There are two ways of making kombu dashi. One is steep in water overnight in the fridge. This makes gentle dashi subtle in flavor. We use this even for babies just start eating. The other is simmer in 60 degrees Celsius hot water for 20 to 30 minutes. I prefer this method because it draws out maximum flavor from comb kelp. This method is invented relatively recent. Bring it to just before boiling until the comb is rehydrated like this. It expands like 20 times bigger than the original shape. Take out the comb cap just before boiling, before the slimy property is coming out. Transfer to a glass jar and you can keep it in the fridge for 3 to 4 days but best using fresh. Next, niboshi dashi broth, made with dried baby sardine. This baby fish makes unique dashi of all. It has strong fish flavor but so delicious and comfortable somehow. Niboshi is added in powdered to ramen broth to make rich broth. It called two soups ramen and becomes very popular in these days. Take off the head and guts. The head and the guts have bitterness in the flavor. Transfer it to tea bag if you have one. If you don't, pass through a sieve later. Put the bag in a pot and add 3 cups of water. Turn the heat to medium and bring it to a boil. Simmer 10 minutes and take out the bag. Transfer to a glass jar and use up within 2-3 to three days. We are going to make winter miso soup next week from this dashi. Niboshi dashi is commonly used for miso soup. My grandmother used to make miso soup with niboshi in a small size. She left the head and gut to take every nutrition. Niboshi contains EPA, DHA, which makes your brain work better and improve your blood circulation. And of course, calcium. Next, kombu and bonito flakes dashi. I believe this is the most famous dashi in the world. When you say dashi, it indicates this recipe. First, put one piece of kombu kelp, pour three cups of water, and start cooking on low heat. Take out kombu just before boiling. Put in a handful of bonito flakes, then bring it to a boil. Turn off the heat when it reaches a boil. Leave it 5-6 minutes until the bonito flakes sink to the bottom. Pass through a sieve and transfer to a glass jar and keep it in the fridge. It will keep 3-4 to four days in the fridge. Don't ever squeeze the bonito flakes. Just gently shake off the liquid. If you squeeze, you will have cloudy dashi, which we don't like. You can make a second dashi from the leftovers. 
add in one and half a cup of water, which is half the primal amount, and cook on the medium heat for 5 to 6 minutes. You can squeeze this time. Second dashi has no rich flavor, but enough to make tasty simmered vegetable side dishes. Simmer seasonal vegetables and add salt or soy sauce. Bonito flakes make a rich broth. The next one is my favorite thick sliced bonito flakes dashi. This dashi has rich and the most intense flavor, which I love. Bring 3 cups of water to a boil and put in a handful of thick bonito flakes. Simmer for 7 to 8 minutes and pass through a sieve. You can use it immediately or you can store it 3 to 4 days in the fridge, but best using fresh. Once you taste the thick bonito dashi, you can't go back to that thin sliced one. Thick bonito flakes are used in soba noodle restaurant and it makes the richest and the most intense flavor and has the strongest umami. I hope you can find it in the grocery store. Last but not least, dried shiitake mushroom dashi broth. The crack on the cap represents the highest quality. The meat is very thick and tastes very good. But it's relatively expensive so you can buy cheaper ones for the dashi making. We often use it for Japanese shoujin ryori served in Buddhist temple. I like to use it for somen noodles in summer. Transfer rehydrated dried shiitake mushroom into a pot and bring it to a boil. Simmer on medium low heat for 10 minutes. Skim off the scum occasionally. The color turns brownish and smells wonderful. There you have it. You can boil the kombu for this recipe to bring out all the umami. One of the umami profile, guanilic acid, is only in dried shiitake mushrooms. The vegetarian broth makes a very complex flavor when you combine with bonito flakes or other ingredients. Let me taste from the kombu dashi. It tastes like ocean and has very slight umami in it. If you are making an oden hot pot or miso soup with many kinds of ingredients, this is the best option. It brings out the flavor of each ingredient. Next, the classic comb and bonito flakes dashi. It tastes so beautiful. It is comforting and the umami passes through your nose so pleasantly. It is just like high-end restaurant. You can have it at your home. I want to use this dashi for a special occasion like New Year dishes soup. The next one is thick sliced bonito flakes. Because we boiled so much, the dashi is cloudy, but it's totally okay. It has a powerful and intense flavor of all. This is perfect for soba noodles or udon noodles or any other soup you like. Or even you can make this dashi when you are exhausted. Japanese baseball is famous for its high performance. They are taking dashi after intense physical training. Next, niboshi dashi. It has a unique fishy flavor. I don't know why, but the fishy reminds us bad smell, but this is an exception. Because we remove heads and guts, it has no bitterness and no unpleasant smell. Very good for your health, of course. And lastly, dried shiitake mushroom vegetarian dashi. It has a strong earthy flavor. I like to use it for the vegetarian dishes using tofu or seaweed or something like that. Dashi is ready in no time and so tasty. If you make chicken soup, how long does it take? Alright, that's it for today. I hope you learned something from this episode. When you give it a try, let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And tap the bell icon not to miss out my new videos. 
Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. Please go to my website for printable recipe and my store on Amazon has pretty much everything what you are looking for. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!